and welcome back to another enthralling screen capture video. Now that we're talking our main research project, we got to talk about ways to get good information. And you've become pretty savvy at using general internet website searching, you know, via Google or whatever. You know how to evaluate sources, and that's great. But here's a real surefire way to get good quality information. Uh, it's called using the Michigan eLibrary. Michigan eLibrary is a free service that the state of Michigan and your parents' tax dollars pay for that offers databases and also online encyclopedias to use for research. You simply need to go to www.mel.org. So right away, once you open up a new tab or window, type that in so you can follow along with me. Here's what your landing page looks like. Skip all these nice cute little uh, icons down here and just go right to databases. This is the best way for me to show you how to do this. So click databases and I'll talk to, some about, just talk to you about some things that I really like in the uh, database section. First one that I'll point to is one that you can actually use not just as a middle schooler, but even in high school and in college. It's called Academic One File. Now it tends to kind of uh, grab some pretty, you know, deep and dense and somewhat sophisticated stuff, and that's fine because you're smart and you can handle it. And there's ways of limiting your searches to things that are more accessible for, say, a middle schooler. So once you get to Academic One File, the first thing you want to do is you want to search your, your topic. So I'm going to pretend that I'm doing the Fukushima disaster. Uh, of 2010 nuclear meltdown that happened not too long ago and the most important thing you do once you get in here is you want to start limiting your hits right now I have 486 academic journal entries that's a lot and as you can tell by looking at Lexile that's good nice right it tells you the Lexile these are gonna be very high Lexile levels because these are from academic journals uh, so that might be a little bit too much for us so what I would suggest you do is go over to the content type limiting option and let's just look at magazines so click that, and that'll bring us down to 421. Still a lot, but more manageable. After that, let's bring it down again. Let's try to use the document type, and let's just look at articles. Now we're down to 288, making progress. And as you start to scroll through and look at some of your options, you'll see that the Lexiles are a little lower, which is good. And also by the title alone and the publication, this is a pretty common magazine, that this is probably pretty accessible for the public. So let's go ahead and click Fukushima five years later because maybe you want information on uh, the long-term effects of the Fukushima disaster or maybe you need to know what they're doing to prevent a future one. And if we look through our text, we can see, okay, it's pretty long. Yep, you're going to have to read. Yep, you're going to have to browse. Maybe take some notes. If you do take notes, you're obviously going to need to make a source card. Okay, so here's something you're going to love. Go down to the bottom. Look at what you got. MLA citation just sitting there waiting for you. So if MLA citations gave you the fits, this is really nice. You can go ahead, you can pretty much copy this in, just make sure that you uh, indent the second line there. Uh, but otherwise, it's an accurate, up-to-date MLA citation. So if you find good stuff in Academic One file, make sure you make the source cards, make sure you take your notes. Most important thing here, though, is make sure you're using the uh, limiting uh, parts on the side. You know, Bring it down to something that's a much smaller, more focused topic, because otherwise you'll be searching forever and ever and ever, and it won't work for you. Okay, so that's Academic One file. It's one of my favorite ones. It's one you can use for the rest of your life. Let's close that out. Here's one that's a little different that I think is great. Britannica is an encyclopedia. It's an online encyclopedia, and it has multiple levels. Britannica School would cover elementary, high school, and middle school, and learning zone, which is, uh, I think, for little kids. We're going to go right to Britannica School High, which is more targeted at high school, which actually I think is probably the best for you. Uh, so... Just like before, let's go ahead and see what we got, what kind of entries. Let's try the Deepwater Horizon uh, blowout oil spill right there and see what we get. Oh, now look at this. Right away, you can change the reading level down if you want to. This one only exists as level 2 or level 3, but that's fine. You can make it more accessible to your reading level. And you have a nice kind of encyclopedia-esque article here with some good basic information and stuff that you might need, stuff you might want to take notes on. So this would be a great source for you if you were studying the Deepwater Horizon blowout. Now you might be saying, oh, Mr. Holster, I really like this. This is great. This is awesome. But uh, how am I going to possibly make an MLA citation for this? Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, they got your back. Go up to here, this little check mark, click Cite, and boom, MLA. You got it right there. And they even bothered to indent the second line. Notice for us, we don't actually have to have the uh, URL, so you can forget about that. How awesome is that? You want to email it to yourself and do it at home? Cool. Email it to yourself as well. So that is Britannica School, High School Edition. I really like that one. As we go back to the Mel databases and online encyclopedias, you'll notice that some of these don't really work for everything. 
Um, Chilton libraries for car repairs. Yeah, you don't probably need that. Um, some of them are targeted at little kids, e-books, things like that. Um, there's a couple more, though, that you probably should see. Uh, General One File, General Reference Center Gold, are very similar to InfoTrack. They look just like InfoTrack. I'll pop in for you and show you. Uh, it kind of structured and set up the same way. You type in your topic. Uh, say you want to do aquaculture. You might want to spell it right. Aquaculture, you'll search it. And the same thing. You got to get here on the side. You got to start limiting your sources and um, your types of hits. Or like here, 20,320. So you really got to start to break this down and try to make it more manageable. But General Reference Center Gold is great, and it's a lot like uh, the Academic One file. And if you find something you like, look what you got down at the bottom. MLA Citation, baby. It's awesome. So that's General Reference Center and General Reference Center Gold, both good ones to check out. Here's what I really want to show you, though. Uh, actually, there's two more. InfoTrack Student Edition is also excellent. It's geared more towards high school and middle school. It looks just like the ones we just visited. Same kind of idea. Uh, if you want to type in your topic, type it in. And know that you need to limit. You need to limit what you have on the side to get something that's going to work for you. Okay? I mean, here's a good example. This article pulled up about hot rods from an auto show, the SEMA auto show. That has nothing to do with global warming, guys. You need to make sure that you use your limiting resources on the side to really get at what you want. Okay? Let's hop back to one more thing. I know you're listening. I know you probably want to get back to research, so I want to show you one more thing. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, I found it. Opposing viewpoints. If your topic is anything sort of issue-related or if there's any type of controversy, uh, this is a great place to look for it. So what I'm going to put in is something called fracking. Uh, it's a type of way of getting uh, natural gas out of the ground. And what you can find in opposing viewpoints is you can find different opinions on it. So depending on how you're approaching your topic, you could potentially have information that would be pro-fracking. It would give you positives about hydraulic fracturing and getting this type of uh, natural gas out of the earth in this particular way. Uh, or you can get, as you see here, hydraulic fracturing should be banned. The opposite viewpoint. So it can really be tailored to uh, where your paper's headed. So. I wanted to mention that when opposing viewpoints is good if you have any type of controversy uh, with your topic. Okay? Uh, and just know that there's other places you can go here. You can check out a lot of different things. I would stay away from the little kid ones. I would stay away from uh, turf grass information file because that's probably not going to help. But there are a lot of different uh, sources here in Mel that are great and that you can use and that you can get some good quality uh, sources that are going to be strong sources for your research papers. Thanks for listening. Make sure you come back and check this out if you're having trouble understanding how to use Mel.